one come student to another teaching and learning process on economics. I am Kola De Abiola, your instructor for today. You'll be listening to teaching on public finance. At the end of the lesson, the student will be able to one, define public finance and state the objectives of public finance. Two, mention and explain branches of public finance. Three, list methods of government intervention in the economy. Four, define physical policy and state the objectives of physical policy. Five, mention types of physical policy and its instrument. Six, define monetary policy. Mention its instrument and its type. Meaning of public finance. It deals with the financial activities of the government concerning revenue, expenditure, and debt operation and their effects on the economy. Objectives of public finance. One, efficient allocation of resources. It ensures that resources are effectively and efficiently allocated among public and private sector. Two, equitable distribution of wealth. It helps in equitable distribution of income and wealth among individuals and various sectors of the economy. Three, price stabilization. It helps to ensure stability in the prices of goods and services, thereby preventing constant fluctuation and related issues like inflation and deflation that tends to destabilize the economy of a country. Four, provision of full employment. To provide full employment opportunity to the citizen of a country, thereby reducing the level of unemployment. Five, maintaining favorable balance of payment. Tariffs and other physical policies are used in maintaining favorable balance of payment. Branches of public finance. One, public revenue. Two, public expenditure. Three, public debt for financial administration. One, public revenue. This studies the various ways of raising revenue by the public authorities. And it also studies the principles, effects of taxation, and how the burden of taxation is distributed among the various classes in the country. Two, public expenditure. This studies how money is spent by the government. Classification of public expenditure, effects of expenditure in different areas, and effects of the expenditure on various factors such as employment, production, and growth. Public debt is a study of the various principles and methods of raising debt and their economic effect. It also deals with the method of repayment and management of public debt. Four, financial administration. This study deals with the administration of all public finance, that is public revenue, expenditure, and public debt. It includes preparation, 
passing and implementation of government budgets and various government policy. Welcome back from that short break. We shall continue our discussion on public finance. We want to discuss methods of government intervention in the economy. The government of a country can intervene in the economy through the following methods. Physical policy, two, monetary policy, three, direct control. Our discussion shall only emphasize physical policy and monetary policy. Physical policy is the use of government spending and tax rates to monitor, influence, and regulate the economic performance. The main goal of physical policy is to achieve and maintain full employment, reach a high rate of economic growth, and to control inflation. Objectives of physical policy. One, the most important objective of physical policy is the maintenance of full employment. Two, income redistribution. It is useful tool for the distribution of income and wealth through the use of taxation. Three, price stability. Four, accelerating the rate of economic development. Five, optimum allocation of resources. Six, capital formation and growth. Types of physical policy. There are two main types of physical policy. One, expansionary physical policy. Two, contractionary physical policy. Expansionary physical policy is used to stimulate the economy and is often used during a recession, high unemployment, and low period of business cycle. It entails the government spending more money, lowering taxes, or both. Two, contractionary physical policy is used to slow economic growth, such as when inflation is growing too rapidly, it raises taxes and cuts spending. In summary, expansionary physical policy is used to stimulate the economy and is often used during recession and high on employment. Government spend more, money and the lower taxes while in contractionary physical policy is used to slow economic growth when inflation is growing rapidly government raises taxes and cut spending instruments or tools of physical policy the tools or Physical policy are taxes, expenditure of spending, national budget for public debt. But the main tools of physical policies are taxes and government expenditure or spending. Taxes which can be direct or indirect taxes can be used to control aggregate demand. Direct taxes such as income tax, complaint tax can be used to reduce spending and indirect taxes such as increase in value added tax and excise duties will increase the prices and reduce purchasing power. 2. Government expenditure or spending. Government spending can be increased or reduced to affect aggregate demand. If the government objective is to increase spending, the government operates a budget deficit. And if the objective 
is to reduce spending, the government operates a budget surplus. We are going for a short break now. Welcome back from that short break. We shall continue our discussion on methods of government intervention in the economy. Before the break, we have discussed physical policy. We have looked at the meaning, the objectives, the instrument and types of physical policy. So we want to look at the second one, which is the monetary policy. Monetary policy is an economic policy that manage the size and growth rate of the money supply in an economy. It is a powerful tool to regulate inflation and unemployment. It increases liquidity to create economic growth and reduce liquidity to prevent inflation. The central bank is responsible for formulating these policies. These policies are implemented through different tools. One, cash ratio. Whenever the central bank desires to increase money supply, the cash ratio is reduced. On the other hand, whenever it is desire to reduce money supply, cash ratio is raised to special deposits. Whenever it is desire to increase money supply, the special deposit of the commercial banks are reduced. On the other hand, whenever it is desire to reduce money supply, the central bank orders an increase in the commercial bank special deposit. 3. Open market operation is the most flexible and commonly used way of implementing monetary policy. It revolves around the buying and selling of government securities on the open market. 4. Reserve requirement, which is the amount of cash all commercial bank must have on hand as a reserve. 5. Discount rate is the raising and lowering of discount rates. Types of monetary policies. 1. Expansionary monetary policy. 2. Contractionary monetary policy. Expansionary monetary policy. This is a monetary policy that aims to increase the money supply in the economy by decreasing interest rates, purchasing government securities by central bank, and lowering reserve requirement for banks. It increases the growth of the economy and lower unemployment rates. 2. Contractionary Monetary Policy The goal of contractionary monetary policy is to reduce inflation and money supply. It can be achieved by raising interest rates, selling government bonds, and increasing reserve requirements for banks. It slows economic growth and reduces inflation. In summary, expansionary monetary policy is aimed to increase money supply in economy by decreasing interest rates and lowering reserve requirements. What happens is that it increases growth of the economy and lower unemployment rates. Why contractionary monetary policy is aimed at reducing inflation and money supply. This is achieved by raising interest rates and increasing reserve requirement for banks. What happens is that it slows economic growth and reduces inflation. We can see that government can intervene in the economy using physical policy and monetary policy. 
Question. Define public finance. Align the objectives of public finance. Mention true methods of government intervention in the economy. God bless you and remain blessed.